I have a shirt 58, a beta 58A. Uh, it got knocked down in the mic holder, landed smack on the grill of the microphone. Uh, at a show, stopped working. So I unscrewed the grill, big dome there. Um, and this piece was actually inside of the grill because it had broken off here. And I could see these two wires hanging out. So I thought, where could those go to? So what I did was I took this, which was like that, and there was a white tape around it. I peeled off the white tape. And then I knew that there was, because this was up in here, I knew there had to be wires that that went to. And I, what I did was I fit this back on to where the plastic, where it was pretty clear that it had broken. Hang on, let me get it in its place here so that I, you can see what I'm talking about. So where it fits, there it goes, fits right back on there. Um, and so then I needed to get this part separated off here because it comes all the way down. So what I did is there's adhesive uh, under a few of these little tabs. These are little tabs that can actually lift up a little. So what I did was I took the spacer thing. Um, I had a little tool. You can use whatever the hell you have. Um, this is for on a car. Uh, to use for a car. But I, I put them underneath I slid it like under the ones that had adhesive and I wiggled it in, broke the adhesive grip, was able to slide this whole piece out, then I peeled up the tape uh, right here, sorry for my thing, I have to look at it when I'm talking, peeled this back a bit, and one second, was able to peel this back a bit to reveal Wah! to reveal <laughs> these two wires and look at that that's right where it broke off because they are the thinnest wires you've ever seen in your entire life so I am going to re-solder these two tiny ass wires to this spot now once I get those soldered and I check to make sure that uh, I'll plug it into an, a speaker Make sure it can hear me, or that it's working, that the microphone is working, and I can hear voice through it. If it works, then what I'm going to do is I am going to take an actual epoxy, and I'm going to put a thin layer on that plastic in the spots where it broke, and same with here, on the spots where it'll touch. And I'm going to fit it back together, and I am going to hope tell that it holds it in place and it is a great fix but that should do it I didn't see any other videos or anything online that showed how to do that and man what a pain to not know but I figured it out I think so there you go if it's not your screw problem which remember this screw is a reverse screw so uh, clockwise actually loosens counterclockwise tightens uh, to get this out and you don't have to worry about uh, doing the little, um, use one of these tools uh, in order to get that ring out. You just, all you had to do was, like I said, take the grill off, get that piece out, um, untape the white tape that goes around the outside of this, uh, use something like I used the spacer thing. Um, feeler gauge I think it's called um, I use my thinnest one to just kind of wedge in there break the adhesive and that made me be able to pull this out out this way because it was all the way in um, I just kind of grabbed on to this plastic piece with pliers and pulled up and out so and now and then I unpeeled some yellow tape until I could see that there you go I'll let you know if I fixed it. Hopefully I did, or maybe I won't even let you know. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so, again, I'm going to put these wires to there. I don't know if it matters which side is which. Um, we're going to find out. So, I just kind of pulled these apart, and I, it seems like this is the direction that each of these goes. So, I'm hoping that I'm seeing that correctly. 
And if they didn't get crisscrossed, they've got to be. Okay. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it to that, to that. Um, this is really tough to record doing. But anyway. Um... that tip bit um, and then I am going to actually give this a shot let's see since this is so thin um, I'm going to see if I can just melt this shouldn't really do this but yeah no I'm going to what a pain okay I'm gonna actually um, attempt to strip the tip of these this is so ridiculously thin so I'm using a razor blade utility knife I think I got enough of that Holy cow, that is stupid then, man. I cannot believe they use <laughs> such thin wire. That is so stupid. You know, maybe I should just... Maybe I should just rewire this with my own wires because that is seriously stupid then. Um, well, I'm going to try it like this first because I really don't want to mess around too much with stuff. So... Give it a shot right here. And if I do this, hold it right to that thing. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I can't believe how thin this stupid thing is. You got it. All right. So now, nuts to get that tape over it. Um, okay, I know what I'll do. There we go. Got to be so careful that I don't break those wires. Okay, I know what I'll do. Be careful of the wires. And pull. There we go. Okay, it's almost out. Wires are still connected. Whew. So put this back together. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. My fucking finger went on top of that. And I almost just pulled the wires out again. Alright. 
God, everything is so delicate. Sure, this when this comes down, there's over top of the tape. I'm gonna match up the plastic again before I push down. Right about there. I think that looks right to me. Aside from the fact that some of that tape is um, not covering that spot anymore but this seems to be the right thing here there we go Oop. okay now I'm in the right spot and this seems to be down this is how you can tell you got a real one it actually has flex to it um, which helps with the vibration so it doesn't pick it up the mic. All right, um, I'm going to test this out, and if it plays, then I will get some epoxy, put it under that, and hope that it holds. Okay, I have plugged this in, and I'm going to talk into it. Chuck, chuck, chuck. There we go. It's working. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Excellent. All I got to do now is hope to hell I can epoxy this and uh, and that it'll stay. So that's what I'm going to do next. Line it up together. Do it up. This is what I'm going to use. Plastic weld. Quick setting epoxy. Um, comes like a syringe. When you push it down, one comes out of each tube and it mixes there and you have to mix it together. So I'm going to use a toothpick, uh, which I'm going to do right now. So this is how you do it. You just stir it up. And I'm not good with one hand on this. And I'm stirring it so you know it's being stirred. Okay, to end this video, um, so I took the toothpick and I just kind of put just a very thin layer on every part of plastic that separated from the other plastic so it was basically like a little circle around you know um on the top where again wherever the plastic se actually separated uh apart so that when it was put back together like this um that it would be touching now it says the set time is um Five minutes. So at about five minutes, I am going to actually let go of this and I will put it, I will set it upside down um, and on the, maybe on the counter, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe after like six or seven minutes, I'll let go of it and uh, figure out what to do because I never trust their set times. <laughs> and I'm so worried about this. It's uh, obviously an expensive microphone. They go for like $169, brand new, and I don't want to lose it. I've had this a long time, and they are built solid, so there you go. That should fix it. That should be how you do it, and then um, then you just stick it back into the grill, screw the grill on, and it should be good, I hope, and hopefully it stays that way. Bye. All right, just to make totally sure... This is going to be fine. I'm going to put a little more. Come on out. Just need like a drop of each on there. Oh boy. Um, and then, like I said, you stir it up so that it makes its reaction of the plaster weld. JB Weld. All right, and what I'm going to do is, right, see, you can see that crack. 
There you go. I'm going to put just a tiny bit less than that. Um, I'm just going to kind of basically paint along that. Uh, that crack. Just to kind of cover it up. Okay, kind of get in there with that one too. All right. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry too. Um, in fact, I might, should I put a heat gun up to it or should I just let it dry? I should probably just let it dry. Make sure you because I've got just a tiny bit on here and you don't want, when your grill goes on it, you don't want it to get in the threads here. So that'll mess it up. So just double check your threads. Mine look okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to let this set, put the grill on it, and I'll show you that it works. All right, it's set. Check it out, check it out. Yeah, boy. Yes fixed it for now. Let's hope it stays that way. I'll have to be careful, not knock it around too hard and hope that that epoxy holds and hope to God those thin, thin string, um, wires hold. Bye.